What's up, dudes and dudes to the urine? My name's Heath, and we are back here for the troll. I don't really know what to do with my hands because normally I'm always just recording the console versions. <laughs> How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic, wonderful. Uh, Airworld, hope you're doing, hope this video, I mean, is going to make your day even better. Today we're playing on Trove PC because it's been quite a while. Let's go super duper speedy fast, guy. Why were we on cooldown with our ability? That doesn't really make any sense. I finally got to see the Lego Batman movie. It is beautiful. Seriously, if you enjoyed the first Lego movie, I would highly recommend checking out the other one. But before we get started today, folks, we got some beautiful stuff to give away because uh, a couple of our mini game maps have actually been accepted into the game. Huge shout out to my man, Merc underscore, because he ended up actually going through the trouble of posting screenshots of the mini game maps and putting them on the forum. So uh, quite a few of them have gotten in. Most of his, in fact, have already gotten in. Uh, but in general, there was the canyon map, which I know we didn't really get to actually look at that map and all of its beautiful splendor because Honestly speaking, that's actually one of my favorite maps that uh, I, like we ever ended up making, right? It's just, there's something about it. It's a big desert canyon and it's beautiful and it just, it's a mini game map. It's in Team Pixel, check it out. But anyways, because of that, we've gotten a couple extra codes and I, I got a couple codes thrown to me as well. So we're gonna be giving away three very special prizes today. We're gonna be giving away Drumsticks the Griffin, Paul Esteban McClaw, which is another griffin that kind of looks like a parakeet, and then one code for Falmenor. Foul, Foul also, this is the new mount that's in the game. It reused the same video effects of the camel and used the same drippy droppy effects of the sandwich. <laughs> uh, but if you want any of those codes, you're gonna have to hit that like button for me and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And let me know what is your favorite, well, let's say what's your favorite mount, because on PC, there's a lot more of an option, isn't there? Yeah, there certainly is because on console it's all poop and it's like a 50 zillion year to triggered. But either way, I will make a response to your comment and let you know, hey dude, you won, here's how you get, blah, 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 blah. So as far as all the PC stuff is concerned, folks, because I know it's been quite some time since we ended up actually having like a full-on PC episode. I know it hasn't been very often, but it probably potentially will because I've actually been playing PC quite a bit lately, really been in the mood. Trove is one of those games where every now and then I kind of take a break from it uh, and just focus on recording it, right? But at the same time, now that I've actually got three different versions of Trove, it's very, very exciting because it's like, I'll take a break from the PC version to go play on one of the consoles, and then when I get tired of that console, I end up going and taking a break on that and going to play one of the other ones, and it's just, it's a good time. You know what I'm saying? I got Trove for days. Yeah! Right, I can grind all my classes up from zero all over again. It's actually a lot of fun, it really is. But man, a lot of the frame rate is just gross. I'm so happy that we're actually playing on a stable game right now, not to mention having the mods. Oh, how I miss these mods. Seriously, I wish that they would actually incorporate a lot of these uh, just onto the console version, you know? But... Here's something very exciting, folks. So you know how there's that big story mode update that's coming around and half of us are unsure whether or not the devs are actually gonna end up putting the Hydra boss in it or if they're just gonna end up being like, <laughs> we weren't planning to put the Hydra in the whole time. What's Hydra? But uh, I ended up getting a message recently. Apparently everybody on the tree, uh, Trove Creative program did, so all of them already know about it. You probably heard it from some of the other YouTubers first, but uh, they're, there's, uh, they're, they're planning. They're planning for the big update to be coming out sometime soon. They're actually going to be throwing uh, most of the try and creative world, what, whatever you call it, the creative program people. They're probably going to be throwing us a bunch of neon dragon codes. It's going to be for the full neon dragon, and they say that it's to celebrate and get hype for the new update. I, I don't really understand how that gets hyped for the new update, but I'm excited because honestly speaking, folks, out of all the different codes that I end up actually getting for this game, there is barely any of them outside of stream or dream boxes that I can actually give away in the console players, you know, because most of the codes that I have, and I've still got quite a few, some for our good, from our good friend B. Yellow, some from exaggerated, I don't really know how to say his name exactly, but uh, I, got, I got codes from all sorts of people, and I can only really apply them to the PC version, which 
is very exciting, but I want to give these griffins away and hopefully the codes aren't like broken because that's what usually ends up happening. The devs always end up seeming to give out broken codes. It's strange. Uh, but as far as the Trove development on PC, yeah, pretty much just that. There's just been the uh, new arenas are, well, the new mini games are going to be added to the game. No idea when, no idea which ones specifically have ended up being added because I just randomly got an email saying, dude, your map's got accepted. Here's a bunch of free stuff. And it was like, yay, I don't know which maps. Look at my double jointed elbows. Isn't that freaky? Like, it's so weird. And they also jut out like crazy. Like, look at that. I'm not trying to flex. Just look at that. Uh, my brother has this too. And we call it our Batman elbows because it's like, yeah. You know, it's, it's like the, the Batman's gigantic elbow bat wing things that are really sharp, you know. I, I Put me in a suit. That's the only way that I can cover it up and look decent. Uh, but anyways, besides all of that, because I'm trying to keep you up to date with everything that's going on, just been having a blast with Trove lately, you know? There's just something about, like, just just been relaxing, just kind of hanging out and playing it whenever I want to play it. We got lots and lots of people, you'd be surprised, migrating from the P console version to the PC version. Now, that is no surprise with how unstable the console version is, but man, like, like, I, I am honestly surprised about it. The, the irony is that anybody that isn't quitting on the console version of Trove just because of the uh, bad optimization, and I'm not trying to hate on it or anything like that, we're spoiled on the PC. I'm just saying in general that anybody who isn't quitting because of the optimization just ends up migrating to Trove PC. Oh my, how do we even get up here? This dungeon, though it is beautiful and it is an Ewok village, like seriously, they need a much easier way of getting up this dungeon because this is one of the gun dungeons. Yeah, enter the dungeon. This is one of those dungeons that's been around since like the beta and has never ended up getting like an overhaul or anything. And it's disappointing to say the least because it's really difficult to actually climb up uh, the ledges and stuff. But if you notice also with the uh, recent patch notes video, there was actually, uh, this direction, there was actually, um, they ended up adding a bunch of features so that the controller, like playing this game with a controller is that much more responsive. It's actually a really, really good, like seriously. But they didn't, they decided not to put that on the console version. Like, uh, okay, uh, whatever guys, that's kind of weird. Um, but besides that, I know I just kind of keep saying that. That's what this episode is all about because it's all just about trying to share as much information as possible in uh, as short a time frame as possible because I gotta get moving. I I'm really, really busy. So uh, as far as life stuff is concerned, just on the side, really been enjoying Trove. Not to mention, uh, I, you know, I'm sure most of you already have heard about it, but those of you that only tune in to the Trove PC series, we ended up hitting 100K subscribers. Oh my goodness gracious. I am so excited about that. You have no idea I am on cloud nine because of it. Uh, haven't heard any word from YouTube about actually reaching 100,000 subs. Uh, and in fact, I actually ended up sending a support ticket in uh, to them just because, here, here's the funny thing. Fun, fun fact about YouTube behind the scenes is that even though I ended up hitting 100K subs, I actually have to go out of my way to message them and let them know, hey guys, I ended up getting to 100,000 subs uh, before they'll actually acknowledge it. Not to mention I actually legit have ran into weird technical issues, or at least that's what I'm convinced of, but it'll get resolved in no time, don't worry. Uh, also, I started reading up some fun forum posts that I thought was hilarious, where it was like people talking about how, oh yeah, we, you know, we kept doing what we were doing and we only got our our silver play button when we were close to 200,000 subscribers. I mean, that's gonna probably take me like 50 years, so I really hope that it doesn't take that long, <laughs> you know? Because it's, it's been a long, it's been a long journey, man, but it's just beginning. That's what I would say. But the other thing, too, is that, uh, and I know that I'm not really talking about Trove relevant stuff, but what can I tell you? There, there's not really that much relevant new information about Trove other than just the same old stuff. You know, they're working on the new patch. Who knows when it's gonna be? Probably sometime at the middle of the year or somewhere around Q2 is what 
what I'm expecting, just because that's kind of the traditional time, and that's kind of when Mantle of Power ended up coming out, right? I'm assuming that they're going to be aiming for a similar release date, but at the same time, the Trove Devs are a little bit of a different card, because while they plan some stuff, for the most part, the technical difficulties, I personally feel, uh, hold a lot of it back, because they, they got a lot of, uh, they got a lot of problems with this game's code, man. Fun fact, did you know that this game actually was originally going to be called Planet Crackers? It's a good thing they changed it, because suddenly Trove, which is not really the best game title of any game, like it really isn't, suddenly it sounds like a masterpiece, doesn't it? Because Planet Crackers would have been stupid, nobody would have played that, myself included, that would have just sounded really, really weird, and the characters were all bulky and strange, and uh, even if you look up, like, alpha, alpha screenshots of this game, uh, the characters actually had gigantic weird heads. I know, it doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> uh, but anyways, I've actually, I gotta run, folks. I'm actually really, really super duper busy, crazy number one. I got lots of indie games that I gotta cover on top of this, while also needing to record the other versions of Trove. And, uh, thought that today we would, oh my, go through here. Well, we got a Chaos Chest as a drop. Uh, hopefully, you know, I've, I've kind of been doing a soft grind for the, uh, Griffin Pouch thingy? Because for some reason, the freaks that have them are still trying to sell them for like over a mil, and it's like, I am not going to pay over a mil just for a stupid griffin gliding mount. Like, seriously, it's not worth it for me. But unfortunately, devs decided, let's make this the rarest item in the game. And everyone was like, why, brah? It's not a dragon. Nobody really cares. Nobody even really wants them. It's just kind of like, they're just there, you know? But if you end up getting them, at least you can end up selling it, I guess. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I very much appreciate it, and I appreciate all your continued support throughout the years. And all of you new people coming to the channel, welcome to the party. You know, it, we, we've got an insane community here that is just absolutely awesome. Seriously, my hat, or my wig, and my balding head is up to you. Uh, I, did I even say that right? I don't know. Apparently, I look for, uh, 40, but fortune favors the bald. That's one of my favorite jokes right now that I keep saying to everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Side more and stay epic. I hope this video made you laugh in some way, shape, or form. Exploding house!